Hello one and all, this is going to be a bit of a different video uh, from what you're used to for me. I'm, this is a tutorial video and I don't normally do these, but some people were asking how I did this on uh, on my stream the other day and I thought I'd share. If you can't afford a capture card, but you want to stream from your PS4, streaming from your PS4 directly is uh, tends to be garbage, tends to look really bad. And you can't add things to your scenes and stuff like that. So uh, I figured out a way to play on your PS4 while you're capturing the audio and video. Uh, from it using the PS4 remote play application. So I'm going to go over how to how to get it set up. Um, not going to be ultra detailed. I'm just going to go over the uh, the basics with you guys. So what you're going to need what you're going to need to do this is uh, you need a PC that's wired to your router, a PS4 that's wired to your router. I tried this wirelessly and the feed looked like garbage. You need the official PS4 remote play application installed on your PC. There's a link there, uh, or you could just Google it to find it quickly. You need two PlayStation Network accounts, one to connect directly to your PS4, and then one to connect through the PS4 Remote Play app. And then you need some kind of software to record a window and sound uh, with on your PC. So like OBS, XSplit, lots of options out there. First thing I'm gonna show you is a video on how to set up your PS4 to do the capture. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is allow permission for the remote play app to use your PlayStation 4. And what you want to do is use your secondary account for this. So log in to that account that you made just to do uh, the remote capture and then go to settings. Go to your uh, remote play connection settings and make sure enable remote play is on. It's best to actually do this with both your accounts, but in particular the secondary account, since that's what you're going to be connecting with uh, to do the capture. That's what you're actually going to be remote playing from your, your secondary account. The other thing you want to do is activate, uh, this system as your primary PS4 system. So to do that, you have to go back to settings and then find PlayStation network slash account management. Right here. And then what you want to do is just click on this or select this, activate as your primary PS4. And that way it'll it'll know that uh, this is the one uh, that you want to connect to when you do the remote play. And that's it, that's all you really need to do to get uh, your PS4 set up for remote play. Next, I'm gonna show you what you need to do to get the remote play app working on your PC. Now I'm gonna show you how to configure your PS4 remote play app for, this is for Windows. I'm not gonna show you how to download and install it, it's pretty straightforward, it's just like any other app for Windows download it, install it, and when you open it up, you're presented, you should be presented with a screen. So there's a settings button and a start button. The start button uh, starts the connection to your PS4 and the settings button allows you to set some stuff. First thing you wanna do is you wanna log in using your alternate PlayStation Network account. What this allows you to do is still play on your PlayStation 4. So there won't be any input lag or anything like that. It, it's the same thing as playing right on the system, because that's exactly what you're doing. And we're going to use the secondary account to log into the system just to grab that sound and the sound and the visuals and, and to capture that. So basically, you're going to be logged into your uh, PlayStation 4 with two different accounts. And then uh, there's an option for resolution, you pick whichever you want. For streaming, I would suggest uh, 720p for uh, Let's Plays, which I haven't, I haven't experimented too much with on this. Uh, I would, I would pick 1080p and then frame rate uh, standard and high high I assume it's 60 FPS standard is probably 30 FPS obviously the higher the resolution the higher the frame weight frame rate the more um, the more bandwidth it's going to use on your connection but since we have a wired connection it should be able to handle it, it should be able to handle it but like I said I haven't experimented too much with uh, 1080 and high so you guys can let me know how that how that works out for you um, text entry, use keyboard, we can do that. Change PS4 to connect to. So if you have multiple PS4s, you can change which one you're gonna connect to. And that's it, that's all you have to do. So um, it's set up and I'll just, I'll show you. I'm gonna connect uh, right now to the PS4. And it, I, that's actually what I was using uh, to record the stuff off the PS4. I was using this remote uh, play app, the stuff that I showed you where I was configuring uh, the PS4, I was using this. Um, so I'm just going to wait for this to connect just to show you that it's going to work. And there we are. We're connected. 
So that's it. That's how you set up the PS4 Remote Play app. That's how you connect to your PS4. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is how to use OBS in particular, because that's the recording software that I use in order to capture this window. Now I'm going to show you what you have to do in OBS to capture the PS4 Remote Play window. I'm not going to show you how to configure OBS for streaming or local recording. There's plenty of tutorials out there for that, and I'm sure you can find them. I'm just going to show you specifically how to add a window capture uh, in OBS for the PS4 Remote Play app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to studio mode, and you can see which version of OBS Studio I'm using here. Just so you can see the changes that I'm making uh, before I transition over to the capture itself. So I'm going to add a right click on scenes, or you can click on this plus if you'd like, um, add a scene, and then we're going to add a source, click on the plus, and we're going to select window capture. Make source visible, that's good. Okay. And then from the window Dropbox, I'm going to click on PS4 Remote Play. And you'll see, here's the window itself. Click on that. And uh, sorry, I want to change one thing. So I'm going to right click on Window Capture, then Properties. And I want to deselect Capture Cursor because likely you're not going to want to show your cursor on your gameplay for, uh, for a game like Bloodborne, for example. I'm going to click on that. And OK. You'll notice it's not taking up the entire window. That's because I have this in windowed mode. And I am connecting remotely at 1080 60 FPS. Um, so if I do full screen it, and I'll have to uh, just alt tab out here, you'll see that um, now it takes up the entire screen in our window. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna transition over just to show you what it looks like. There we go. And uh, this, in this particular moment, I'm actually controlling it from my PC. But if you've logged in to your system using your main account, but connected remotely from your PC using your alternative account, you'll be controlling the PS4 directly from the PS4 instead of your PC. So keep your controller, you want to keep your controller connected to your PS4, log into the PS4 using your main account, log into the remote play app using your alternative account then connect to the ps4 using the remote play app and you'll be controlling from the ps4 while recording uh from your pc so let's start up bloodborne and i'm just going to skip to some some footage of bloodborne so you can see what it looks like with my modest local recording settings i'm not using like a high bit rate or anything and uh, you'll see that it's much better than streaming from your PS4, way better. And I'll also show you some footage of what it looks like when I was streaming from the PS4 and compare it to just a 720, 30 FPS stream that I did as well. Uh, it's, it's a pretty big difference. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. You should see some nice, uh, beautiful pixels. Think chat. And that's all you need to do. Uh, so just to summarize, you need to have two PSN accounts. You have to have your PS4 and your PCs wired to your router. It makes such a big difference. I tried this wirelessly and it looked like garbage. PS4 and PC wired to your router, two PSN accounts. You have to install the Remote Play app. Log in to your PS4 with your main account with all your games and everything. Log into the PS4 Remote Play app on your PC with your alternate account. Start your start your PS4, start the game, whatever whatever you want to capture. Then start the Remote Play app, connect with your alternate account, and you'll be able to play on your PS4 
like no no input lag it, it, it won't, you won't even notice that you're connecting through remote play um well capturing the gameplay and the sound uh through whatever you want to use obs uh xsplit whatever hope you enjoyed this let me know if you have any questions or you have any problems and i'll be, do my best to help you out there's uh with anything like with anything like this there's always like ins and outs there's always issues that people come across and i'd be happy to help anyone that uh, that has questions thank you so much for watching this is luckless lovelocks signing off for now and i love you all